Right, okay, we've already covered the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. So what comes after that? Yep, N, O, P, Q. Four letters. N, O, P, Q. N, O, P, Q. Which one is a vowel? Yep, the letter O. Right, but let's stick to our alphabetical order there. Because after M comes N. N, O, P, Q. So we'll just do that little block just now. N, O, P, Q. The letter N. Nostalgic. Right? Nostalgic. I'm feeling nostalgic. Right? Have you worked out that's an adjective? In indeed it is. Put it before the noun. Or you can have it like that. I'm feeling nostalgic. A nostalgic day. The only thing there I think would be tricky would be the G giving us the J sound. Okay, quite often G does give us the J sound. Nostalgic. Nostalgic. As it sounds. Nostalgic. Nostalgic. Narcissistic. Okay, you'll be totally forgiven if you spell this incorrectly. A narcissistic personality. Which means it must be a... Uh, in fact, I'm not going to tell you. In fact, yes, I am. It's obviously an adjective, isn't it? Narcissistic. Narcissistic personality. You'll be doing very well. If you, if you, um, you know, if you were, if you were able to spell that word correctly. It's, it's a hard word to spell, and there's no question about it. Let's move on to the vowel O. And that's how it's pronounced, obviously. The letter O. 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 Right. It gives us the O sound and it gives us gives us the O sound. Right? Ordinarily. Opportunity. And again, ordinarily. Opportunity. Right, two P's there. Let's us know that we're, um, it's giving us the awesome, but as I say, that is not a good guide. You know, as I mean, for example, even with, even with short words like them, right? It's really a case of memorising <clears throat> memorising these words, improving your vocabulary. You know, because English can be a very great area. It'd be great if you could say, right? Well, we know that O turns to O when we've got two consonants following it. Sadly, that is not a good indication. Some words, yes, this happens. For example, here, right? And here, and here, and here.
the letter P. The letter P. 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 The letter P. Gives us the p p p sound, right? Practicality. Not there. Taking it down to its root form would be practical. Practical. P position. Position. Right? There's a good example. You see, position is giving us the aw sound there, which is covered all. And here we see the letter O again coming after the letter P. So you'd be forgiven for thinking, well, position, well, surely that must have two S's in it to give us the aw sound. No? doesn't always work like that, I'm afraid. Position. 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 It's about like that. T-I-O-N giving us position. T-I-O-N giving us the shun sound here. Position. Possible. 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 Predicate adjective, a predicate nominative. She is my mother, a predicate nominative, mother, a noun, right? A predicate adjective. He is nice. Nice, an adjective. It's used with linking verbs, right? Predicate, right? He is nice. He, pronoun, is a linking verb. Nice. So basically, <coughs> he, right? He, the pronoun, is equal to the adjective. Or you could say, the adjective is describing the pronoun, as it does with the nominative as well, right? He is my father. Father is describing the subject. He. He is my father. So that is what we mean by predicate. A predicate, basically on the right hand side, isn't it, when you think about it, right? predicate. Prefix. Prefix. A prefix basically is letters in front of a root word, like this, right, which change its meaning. A prefix.
Now it's a Q. With a Q, you require a U afterwards. Questionable. Qu. Gives us the qu sound, by the way. Questionable. Right? Qualification. Qualification. Questionable. You'll see a lot more Q examples with the other video I did earlier, which is 100 words, 100 silent letters. Right, so the next section would be our STU, isn't it? Once again, let's go over that alphabet for you. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, I, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, right? So the next block is, is the R, S, T, U. Let's start off with this tricky little word here. With the letter R. R, 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 R gives us the R, R sound, by the way, the consonant R, 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 R right? Not everybody can do that, but don't worry. It's, you know, it's not the end of the world if you can't go rrr. Right. Gives us the R sound. Reminiscence. Reminiscence. Regarding. Regarding. Reciprocate. 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 And again, reminiscence. You could also say reminiscing or reminiscent. Regarding. Reciprocate. This here is the letter S, that is how it is pronounced, S, the letter S, and as a capital, there it is, S, gives us the S sound. Which other letter in the alphabet gave us that S sound? Remember the S sound? Of course it is the letter C. This one here also gives us the S sound, right? Speciality. Speciality. The speciality of the day. Serendipity. What does that mean? Serendipity basically means a lucky accident, like tripping over this table over here and um, landing on the couch and then noticing there's a big bulge under the couch and it's filled with, you know, with 100, with 100 Durham notes that I never realised I had chance to be a fine thing. Right. Serendipity. Yes, it is a lucky accident. Serendipity. Serendipity. You could be forgiven for, um, you know, spelling that one incorrectly. Seren. Seren. You know, you might see that one think, well, is it seren? Is it serendipity? It is seren. Seren. S-E-R-E-N-D-I-P-I-T-Y. Serendipity. Cinnamon. What is cinnamon? That is a word, a similar word, right? We discussed antonyms earlier on. A cinnamon is a similar word, right? Good. Great. Kind. Generous. Big. Tall. Small. Tiny. These are cinnamons. Synonymous. Synonymous. Again, notice the Y giving us the E eh sound. Quite often it does. Eh. You know. You can see now why the Y, the Y, 
you know, very nearly made it into the club of vowels, but uh, it just didn't quite, it just didn't quite make it, unfortunately. Synonymous. Let's have some funny games and take away all the vowels from that word. You can just about work out, you know, what it's meant to say, but, you know, you see the importance of the vowels. Synonymous. Sarcophagus. 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 What is that? It's like a tomb, isn't it? Tutankhamun was uh, buried in a sarcophagus and discovered by Ali Carter. Right? I'm not sure it was Ali Carter, the snooker player, or... It certainly was a gentleman called Carter. Okay. <laughs> Right, sarcophagus. That is a tomb. Tricky, anything tricky there for that one? Sarcophagus, yes, well the C is giving us the K sound and the PH is giving us the F sound, right? Sarcophagus. What else does S do? Does it give us any more sounds apart from S? Yes, it does. Sugar. Sure. Assure. With these words here, it's giving us the SH, SH, SH sound, isn't it? Sugar. Sure. Assure. Reassure. Right? Some more examples there for your s sound. And on to the letter T. How is this pronounced? First of all, we can tell you it is a consonant. Right? A consonant. It is pronounced just like a cup of tea. <laughs> Some tricky words for you, beginning with the letter T. Torrential. Torrential. Totalitarian. That's like a government that's got control of its people. Totalitarian state, for example. Right? Totalitarian. 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 Theology. Therapeutical. This word here is a great big long word, isn't it? Therapeutical. 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 This word here, you will notice that it, the H is changing T to V, 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 v as in the, the, or there. Right? Things. T, H, you got, if you've got the H after T, it's giving us the th sound, right? Alright? Letter U. 
gives us the U sound, gives us the uh, uh sound. Like this example, undeniably. It is undeniable. Undeniably. Understandable. That is understandable. I understand what you mean. The video is easy to understand. It is understandable. That is quite a good one. Understandable exactly as you'd expect it to be spelled. Understandable. Break up into syllables. It gives us the spelling of the word. The only place you may trip up there is with the E at the end. The E, of course, is silent. It doesn't work without that silent E. Understandable. Ubiquitous. Ubiquitous. Appearing to be in different places at the same time is basically what that means. It is an adjective. A ubiquitous person. Ubiquitous. Ubiquitous. Again, the U follows Q. Right? Ubiquitous. Unanimous. A unanimous decision. A unanimous decision. Unanimous. A unanimous decision. Unanimous. XYZ, this is the final section, right? Now, I've not got too many of these, so you'll be glad to hear. <laughs> right, okay, so V, V is a consonant, that's how it looks, the letter V, right? A capital letter, that's how it looks. Right, V gives us the V, v sound, as in victorious, right? Victorious, as in Verification. Verification. Right? As in volatile. A volatile situation. Volatile. Dangerous, really, you know. Volatile. The V sound. The letter. W, 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 the W sound is w, w. Wonderful, weird, weird. This is a good one to uh, pick up on. Weird, because weird, that is, right, that is the E before I, despite it not going after C. What would be the root word there for wastefulness? Waste. Waste. If you strip all the other components of that word down, all the other syllables, bring it right down to one word, you get waste, don't you? Waste. Wastefulness. What about X? X. Small x, big x, capital X, and the, st and the x as you write it in a word. Xylophone. X-ray. There 
aren't too many words beginning with the letter X. There are a lot of words that have X in them. Box, fix. Crux. Right? But not too many words beginning with X. letter Y. The letter Y. That's how it looks. The letter Y. What sound does this give us? It gives us the ye, 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 ye sound. Yawning. Yesterday. Yearning. Youngest. The letter Y, as you remember, almost made it to the club of Vowels, which, can you remember them? Yep, A-E-I-O-U, didn't quite make it. It's a very, very popular letter in the English language. It is used quite often at the end of words, isn't it? Like these words here. Right? In fact, we had yesterday, we saw the letter Y coming up twice with that one, didn't we? yesterday and we've already we've already seen from previous examples that the letter Y can also give us the I sound as well okay not just the Y sound right remember do you remember idiosyncrasies so the letter Y can give us the E sound as well in fact, really, when you're thinking about words like daily, weekly, fortnightly, it's actually giving us the A sound there as well. So really, we can say it's giving us the ye, ye, right? Which is the consonant, the consonant sound you'd expect, ye, right? It's giving us the E as an idiosyncrasy. And it's giving us the A as in daily, weekly, fortnightly. And on to the final letter in the alphabet. How did we get here? We got here by saying A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, I, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Z. That is it. That's how it is pronounced. It is pronounced the letter Z. Z. Right? That's how you pronounce what it is. It is the letter Z. What sound does it give us? It gives us the Z. Okay, the Z sound as in, uh, to put it in a different part of a word, buzz. Okay, buzz. Let's, let's bring out some lovely long words that begin with the letter Z. Zoophytological. Now there's a word that you'll hear all the time. Yeah, <laughs> not really. Zoophytological. Zoophytological. Lovely long word, that, isn't it? Zoophytological. Despite the amount of letters that are incorporated in that really long word, it, word, it isn't actually all that hard to spell when you think about it. Zoo. Zoo. Phytological. Right, we've already covered the fact that PH can give us the F sound, right? We've already covered the fact that Y can give us the E sound. Alright, so then it's the case of tological. T 
T-O-L-O-G-I-C-A-L. -O -O Actually not too hard to spell when you think about it. The study of zoophytes, if you're interested. Zoo zoophytes. Right? If you're a marine biologist, you'll, you'll have used this word in, uh, in conversation quite often. If you are a marine biologist. If you're not, mm, there's a very good chance you've never heard of this word before. That's all we have time for in this show, I'm afraid. I would love to give you more words, but it is, it is a question about time. It is a question about time. And we do have some quizzes to, to uh, go through now. Right, okay, once again, very, very, very quickly. Your vowels are A, E, I, O, U. Right, that's five vowels and the rest, the other 21 are consonants, right? Okay, you've got to be able to memorise this alphabet. Got to be able to do that. It doesn't matter how long it takes you to practice it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Yeah, I mean, I've just got it, yeah.